box office chart is the movie that I think is the best movie of the year so far, Maestro. It only opened in a handful of theaters around the country, and that's only so it can qualify for Oscar nominations. One theater in particular in the Chicago area, the Landmark Century, is the only one showing it right now. It's the Leonard Bernstein movie with Bradley Cooper and Carey Mulligan. It will be coming to Netflix in a couple of weeks, but for now, this is one that you have to seek out. Hello, I'm Lenny. Hello, Felicia. He can be the first great American conductor. The professional story of conductor Leonard Bernstein really is an amazing one. A conductor, composer, pianist, author, humanitarian. All of that covered in this new movie, Maestro, but the focus really is more on his personal life. Bradley Cooper not only completely embodying Bernstein in the starring role, but he also directs this movie. He produced it and co-wrote the story, a completely untraditional relationship between him and his wife, Felicia, played to perfection by Carey Mulligan. Many facets of Lenny's life presented with enormous power and emotion his explosive impact on the music world, an equally explosive yet secretive private life with his wife, mixed with incredible moving musical performance in this movie, conducted by director Bradley Cooper, layering the pieces of this movie just like Bernstein did to a concert. Maestro's got Oscar written all over it. Now, as I said, it's only in one theater for now, which is crazy. It will be coming to Netflix on December the 20th. Uh, I gave it a Dean's List A. Why they do this, I don't understand. Why you just wouldn't mm -hmm. open it uh, in theaters everywhere? Because to see this movie on the big screen, when you see him at the uh, podium with the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, it sends shivers down your spine yeah. when you see it on a big screen. So, you know, a lot of people are just going to see it on Netflix. I suspect that after it gets a ton of Oscar nominations, which it will, they'll bring it back into theaters again. Very weird.